We're at the NSC and uh, today and tonight particularly, of course, is the Isle of Man Sports Awards. Uh, very special guests here. Good uh, Rebecca. Thanks for coming over and talking no. to us today because I know you're doing quite a lot of media before the event. And your first trip to the Isle of Man. It is. No, I'm really excited. And um, I've only ever been to the Isle of Wight. Oh. So, like... <laughs> you do get around now. <laughs> I know, no. It, that was just growing up. So oh. I've never been over here. So it's very nice. And everything is just incredible here at the Sports Awards. Like, I wish I had this when I was swimming. It's good, isn't it? They've got a good setup here. Yeah, really good. Now, it was what, Beijing? Your book, 08? Yeah, Seems yeah. like a long time ago now. I know, six years. Crazy life, though, since for you. I mean. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, my life changed a little bit in many ways. But um, no, obviously, Beijing was absolutely incredible and kind of where it all started. And not just kind of for the publicity or anything like that, but as in my whole career really started and um, it was just amazing just to be able to represent your country at an Olympic Games full stop. But uh, to come away with two medals is, is definitely something that I'm hugely proud of and will be for the rest of my life. And of course, what, you retired at 23? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just awesome, isn't it? I know. Swimming's a very young sport. It's like yeah. gymnastics in that way, especially for women as well. Uh, guys can get away with being a lot older and sprinters as well can get away with being a lot older. But unfortunately for distance swimmers, we don't quite have the mileage that, <laughs> that the rest of them do. What, what do you think about um, the youth getting into the sport? Because the Alabama's really got quite a good program and, and good gotcha. reputation for this now, hasn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. I've been hearing all about your superstars on the island, which is amazing. But I think what's really great here is the, the variety that you have as well. It's not just kind of everyone swims. It's kind of you've got everything available to you. Mm. Whereas for me growing up, we, we kind of had two pools and there wasn't that much else. So it's amazing, the, the whole complex here. But um, it's definitely important. I think even though not everyone's competitive, but it's nice when you're younger to just get a little bit inspired to just get fit or to learn a new skill or to do something different, especially for swimming, because it is something that you'll do for the rest of your life. And obviously it's so important for you guys here with, with being obviously the small island that you are, yeah. that you, swimming obviously is, is massively important for water safety as well. So um, I think that's why it's just good that more younger guys are getting involved in sport whether they want to go on and be competitive in it or not because not everyone is competitive not everyone wants the dream of going to the olympics so uh, it's nice that you can have that variety in sport well tonight you're going to be cav and kenya and all, all the rest of our yeah. guys who did a lot of their cycling over here just to know, yeah. got started with little nippers <laughs> but let's talk about you um a certain television show i mean i have to i mean i'm an avid fan of i'm a slow to get me out of here <laughs> was that a good idea in the end looking back oh, on it what do you think i loved it it was amazing honestly it was such a good experience and not as scary as everyone thinks i was scared at the time and obviously it is just something so out of your comfort zone you don't know how to to prepare for it and what to expect either i think that's the thing because normally if you're going camping or if you decide right i'm going to go and sleep in the jungle you'd take decent food you'd take a tent you'd take other things whereas uh, that situation was nothing like <laughs> a normal <laughs> uh, did you eat many bugs I can't remember now did you have to do a lot of that stuff um, well, it was just kind of more the f only four people got to eat the really yeah. nasty stuff. But even in an evening, even if we won stars, you'd be eating things like possum, crocodile feet. It wasn't, you didn't get a kind of fillet steak and <laughs> or burgers or chicken or anything. I mean, it put you into the into the public eye again in a whole new way for a lot of different people. I mean, where'd you go from here? I mean, what are you doing now with your life? A uh, number of different things um, now. I do my own Learn to Swim program, which is my main job and my main business that I do all the time um, over kind of back in, in the UK I've got five centres which is which is great um, I'd love to come over here though especially in this ball it's amazing but um, yeah so that's my main job um, and my main business but then I'm doing d different TV bits like Loose Women yeah. um, doing like Through the Keyhole things like that like the BBC coverage for the Commonwealth Games and, and different things like that which um, I'm really really excited about okay well Commonwealth Games, give a wave to our guys if, if any, any happen to get through. Yeah, no, I've, do. I've been hearing about two of your guys yeah. that um, are swimming at the Commonwealth Games trials this week that I'm actually going up to tomorrow um, at Lorna and Charlotte, so I'm going to try and say hello to them and cheer them on.